Hello my friends, we're back in Luminar Neo and today we are talking blending modes, layer blending modes. They are some of the most important tools you can have in an editing program and I'll show you exactly how each one of them works with examples. I have this image and the layers panel, it's on the left side. I will add a blue layer and the blending modes are over here into the layer properties. This is my blue layer at 100%. The normal blending mode does not interact with the layers underneath it. So the only thing you can do is to reduce the opacity so you can reveal the layer below. Let's move into the next blending mode. As you look into the blending modes, you will see they are categorized. The first one, it's normal. Then you have darken, multiply, and color burn. These are blending modes that darken your image. Lighter and screen, they lighten your image. Overlay soft light and hard light, they create contrast into your image. Difference in subtract and hue color and luminosity will get into that in a second with examples. But right now, let's move into uh, darken. For darken, I will take a different image. I chose this black and white image, it will be easier for you to understand it. And if I go to edit and add a layer, I'll go with the same blue layer and put the opacity at 100%. If I move the blending mode to darken, you will see that only the white changes into this blue color. That's because the white was a lot lighter than the blue. So the darkened mode, what it does, it darkens the pixels that are lighter into the under, from the underneath layer. So the blacks, they did not take this blue tone because they are darker, so they did not get darker. I hope this makes sense. Let's see what we have next. We have multiply. Multiply is one of my favorite blending modes that I use a lot. And I'll give this example. I have this image. When I go to edit and I will add, I will add the same exact image as a layer this time. So we have the background and we have our layer. When I change the blending mode from normal to multiply, it darkens everything and it brings all that detail back together. Now it's important to know that multiply does not affect the blacks because when you darken things, you can't darken an already pure black. So blacks remain not, not changed. Just uh, the rest of the tones get darker. So multiply, you can use it over and over. I will use this image one more time and change the blending mode to multiply. And now I'll bring it even more detail. So this is what we started with. And this is what we have now. And we only use two layers with the multiply blending mode. Let's see, what's our next blending mode? Color burned. I will choose a different example for this one. And let's see, I have this boat over here. And color burn, if you remember dodge and burn, dodge lightens things and burn darken things. So color burn will darken things, but it also adds color. So if we go to edit and add another layer of the same image, let's find my boat image, and increase the opacity to 100% and we choose color burn. We darken the image, but we also added a lot of colors and we can reduce the opacity. So this is our image before and after. So the comparison between multiply and color burn, multiply only darkens, but it doesn't add a lot of color. Where color burn, it darkens and adds a lot of color. I'm gonna revert this to the original. Next, we will move into a different example and we'll move into the lighten blending modes. I will take the same black and white image that I had before, let me just, uh, put it back the way it was to the original. And I will choose, let's say this time we'll take a yellow layer. Let's see, I will use this layer, an orange layer. And now if I go to lighten, you will see my whites stay the same. This is the before and after. So the whites stay the same, but the darks they got lighter because lightens, that's just that. It lightens the pixels from the layer underneath. The next blending mode, it's screen. A screen interacts in a different way with uh, the layer underneath. And you see, we get more details. 
My favorite way to use a screen is to add sun flare. And I'm gonna give you an example with this boat again. Let's say we wanna add a sun flare over here on the left and get that nice hazy, you know, sunrise look. The way we would do it, we go to edit and then I will add a layer where I have a sun flare I made in Photoshop. So this is the way my sun flares look in a normal blending mode, 100% opacity. If I change this to screen, then we have this nice sun flare I can move around. So I can put it over here where the sun would be and change the size and keep making it bigger and bigger until it kind of fits my image. So maybe something like that. And now let's see, this is my before and after. Of course it's too much, so I will just drop the opacity maybe to, I don't know, 40, 50%. And let's see now. This is our before and after. Before and after. And that's how you add sun flare using the screen blending mode. Let's move to the next example. Let's see, next thing we have overlay. Let's choose a different example for overlay. I am going to choose this image over here of this horse. And I am going to go to edit and go back to my layers and choose my blue layer again. I'll increase the opacity to 100%. So remember I said overlay um, creates contrast. So that means it makes the darker pixels darker and the lighter pixels lighter. And now we have this uh, color grading. This is how you would color grade with uh, blending modes. So this is our before and this is after. If we wanted to cool this image, this is how we would do it, before and after. Now this is overlay. If we go to soft light, it does exactly the same thing as overlay, but a little bit less aggressive. So this is our soft light. This is the before and after. So the difference between soft light and overlay. Now hard light, it's a, it's a different one. And I will show you to you with a different example. I'll do this example. And um, for this one, I will add, I will add the same image, but very, very blurry. And you can do this in your photos too. You can take one image of your subject sharp and then take one that is very, very blurry like this one, completely out of focus. Or you can just make it completely out of focus in post-production. So now that I have this blurry photo on top of my normal photo, I will change the blending mode to hard light. And you see it created this contrast and softness about it. And the difference between, let's say, overlay and hard light, if I go to overlay, overlay, it makes these bright pixels around the boat edges, as you can see, and her hair, they are blown out because it lightens the lighter pixels and the layer underneath. So, the difference between overlay and hard light, watch, watch the both lines and the hair when I change to hard light. So hard light, it creates contrast, but it, pre, it creates a more uh, faded look. So it brings down the highlights and the blacks. So now I have this nice color grading without all that blown out. Let's see, what is our next blending mode? It's difference. All right, let's choose a different example. And for difference, I will use, let's see. I will use this image. Different blending mode, it's one of those utility blending modes that you use them because you need them. For example, in this case, I want to align two images. And if you're on Photoshop, it has an automatic tool that will align your layers. But in this case, the difference blending mode can help us align the layers. Watch what happens. Let me increase the opacity to 100%. So I have my background, and then I have my top layer, which is exactly the same image. Watch what happens when I choose difference as a blending mode. My image turns black. That's because there's nothing different between the two layers. Everything is the same. So watch what happens if I move the layer. If I move the layer, we can see this haloing effect. So this will help us if we need to completely manually align two layers, we can put in the blend mode difference and then we can align them until 
you know, you get complete black. Oops, I moved it, but you get the point. That's what the difference does. Now subtract, I'm gonna not lie to you. I have no idea what it does and I could not find anything uh, useful to use it on. I, I can, just can't figure out how to use it and I've never seen anybody using subtract. So let's move into the next blending mode. Next blending mode, I have this image over here and I will add another layer. And this time, let's see, what do I wanna do? Let's do back to our blue layer. And the next blending mode, it's hue. When I click on hue, my whole picture turns blue, except the very whites, the whites and the very blacks. Hue does not work on monochrome, so gray, white and black will not get affected. They will stay gray, white and black. Only the color will change into this blue tone that I had my layer. Now this is the difference between hue and color. If I go to color, everything will take this color. The whites, the blacks, everything turns blue. Where the hue only affects the color to change into this color, not the whites and the blacks or the grays. And the last one, it's our luminosity. For that, we'll take a different example. And let's see, what do we wanna take for an example? I will use this image and we'll go to edit and I will add a layer of the same exact image. So I will increase it to 100%. So now I have the background and the layer on top, and they are exactly the same thing. If I go to the layer on top, and I will add a really pretty, you know, big S-curve here to create a lot of contrast. So we created this contrast, this is the before and after, but look at the skirt, it's so much more saturated. It doesn't, the curve tool doesn't only affect the contrast, the luminosity also affects the colors. So now her skin tone, it's affected like everything, but look at the skirt. And the way we'll use luminosity, watch what happens when I will change this layer to luminosity. It will only affect the luminosity, like the contrast, but we'll put the colors back to where they were. You see that? That's luminosity blending mode, and that is normal blending mode. So if you're applying some like some big uh, S curve and you know you're getting all these super saturated skin tones this is the way you will change it you will change the blend mode to luminosity and now we still have the contrast but the colors are not super saturated and my friends i think we went through all the blend modes i hope this was uh, helpful and you learned something today if you are not subscribed please do, please do subscribe and um, turn on that bell notification so you will not miss future videos. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.